Well, we talk about good passing and bad passing. Let's go on to the Chicago Bears who travelled to the Cleveland Browns. It's uh, thankfully it's one of mine, um, and thankfully I didn't rewatch. Really <laughs> didn't really watch any of it. Um, Cleveland Browns won it twenty six uh, six. Um, I mean, it started off with a turnover on downs. The Browns just thought they could just walk it in, um, and obviously they got stopped. Um, the they then got a field goal for the Bears. Then there was another turnover on downs. Punts, field goals galore, and it just just carried on and on with the punts and the boringness, and the Bears are horrendous. Like I actually can't believe they beat the Bengals. I see, I see, reviewed last week. Um, they only won because the Bengals just kept making mistakes. The Browns weren't even that good at all in this game. They got away with it massively. Um, but I've got to read, I've got to read some stats. I had to. You know, when you start scrolling through Instagram on CBS Sports, I'll give him a shout out because these are the best stats I've ever seen in my life. Justin Fields' first start, and I think it's going to be his last start um, because it's <laughs> absolutely horrendous. Uh, Justin Tucker's field goal was 19 yards longer than the total amount of yards gained by the Chicago Bears offense um, during their game against the Cleveland Browns. They had a net passing uh, yard of literally one yard. So they literally, the whole game, threw the ball one yard. <laughs> and that, if that doesn't sum the game up, I, I don't know what did. Justin Fields, right, completed six passes, 68 yards. Um, he also lost 67 yards. So he got sacked nine times. Nine yeah, times. Just, I mean, that as well, J- Justin Fields, of course, didn't have a good day. But no. what that showed is how horrendous that Bears O-line was. And I think this was a real reality check for the Bears fan base, because I know no one fancied Andy Dalton and when he went off injured, it's an, it's an easy scapegoat to make. We know that Andy Dalton isn't brilliant by any stretch of the mark, but the current situation of the Bears is nothing to do with him. It's, it's, a, it's a poor team anyway. And, and for some reason, Bears fans were deluded and thought Justin Fields was going to make it a lot better, but nothing got going for Chicago whatsoever. And I mean, you, you get sat that many times as any quarterback then. Yeah, it shows you huge problems at the old line. And you know it's bad as well because normally their threat would is the running game with Dave Montgomery and he just couldn't get going either. But I think a lot of it is down to the fact they kept trying to do these like spectacular plays with fields. And it, it, in like in regular season NFL, this is not pre-season against third and fourth choice defensive linemen. This is against established Cleveland defense, which is pretty solid, playoff worthy. They're gonna be all over you. And it and it wasn't close for a contest. Yeah, Miles Garrett had four and a half sacks himself. Like it, it's it's embarrassing. Browns literally they allowed forty seven yards all game, fewest they've ever allowed since entering the NFL in nineteen fifty. Um, they outgained the Bears by over three hundred and seventeen yards. I mean, it really was annihilation, and they didn't really have to try. It was the it was, so the only quarterback who's been sacked more um, was Greg McElroy. Never heard of him, right? <laughs> uh, back, back in 2012, he was sacked 11 times in one game. Sacked nine times. You normally think like one or two is down to, the, down to the quarterback. First start might take too long in the pocket. But as you said, his game's running. He needs protection and an actual O-line that will help him. And then you wonder why players keep getting injured, like Andy Dalton and people like that. But don't worry, though. They have got Nick Foles waiting in the wings to uh, as the backup backup. So we'll see how long he waits. Um, yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick Fold, Nick Fold waiting in the wings. Khalil Mack went off injured. I mean, it's just getting better and better for the Bears. And and this, <laughs> yeah, this is the last season for um, I've got the coach, uh, coach uh, Nagy, Matt Nagy, as the head coach. He's the final year of his contract, and that's what he puts out against Cleveland Browns. Unbelievable! <laughs> it's gonna be a long season for. Uh, yeah, the, for the, the Bears are lucky that they uh, as. Me and Brad pointed out in the previous week review, well, the Bears are lucky to get a win because yeah. no, they no, they should be own three, shouldn't they, Brad? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it was just um, like, as you mentioned, boys. Cleveland hardly got out. Of, I wouldn't even say first gear. They they were literally sat in neutral, rolling off like a little little slope. It was just com- it was just so comfortable. Um, um, and I just I think the that was basically a pre-season game for the Browns, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll take it. Um, they're obviously pushing for AFC North this season. I think they have to uh, after their 
sort of recent years. Obviously, they had a decent year last year, getting into playoffs, beating the Steelers. But before that, um, they've had a bit of a terrible time. So I think they need a few solid consecutive seasons now. Um, and when when you're playing games like that and not even trying, it's only a can only sort of get better with better quality, really. Yeah, I still just can't get over that. Passing yards, Bears one, Cleveland two hundred and three. Average yards per play, Bears 1.1. Like, it's just <laughs> laughable, honestly. Literally, they need 10 plays to get a first down. It's just horrendous. I'm done with the Bears. I hope they go 1-16 and 16 now. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect performance from start to finish. Um, but, yeah, fair play, Justin Tucker. Nine, nine, literally 19 yards more than the whole of the Bears' offence with one leg. Um, so fair play I put the Bears at 32 out of 32 teams to be totally honest I think Jacob has even beat them <laughs> saying a lot and um, I've just I've just checked my prediction for the Bears you didn't go Bears did you uh, we'll, we'll, get on to that one. we'll get on to that one Jamie did I go for the Bears I probably did go for the Bears didn't I? 